Personalizing Patient Care with Simulation. So at SimQ, we personalize patient care with simulation. We help make medical devices, diagnoses, and therapies unique, just like your patients are. I want to start off with a personal story and why I'm so passionate about patient-specific implants. This is actually a picture of my spine. I suffered from neck pain for years, and my surgeon told me I had two options. You could do a fusion with a cage or an artificial disc replacement. We both preferred the artificial disc replacement to preserve some motion of my spine, um, but he wasn't sure what he was going to be able to do until he got into the operation suite. That being said, when I woke up, he shared with me that he had to put a cage in. So that's a fusion there. The reason is, is my disc space was too small. There was not an implant, an artificial disc replacement implant, small enough for five, my four millimeter disc space. So as a direct result of the available implants to my surgeon, that influenced his decision. And so my goal is to make sure that not only are stock implants separate sizes for people like myself, but the goal would be that everyone has a personalized implant for their spine. So I want to just introduce SimQ a little bit, speak about our technology and some of the solutions that we offer. So first, the background of SimQ. We start as a corporate startup. Our mother company is CADFEM. They're in the simulation industry, but not medical. So um, we branched off there in 2015, and then in 2018, we started getting our certifications for software as medical devices. In 2021, we managed to have a, an investor from South Korea, along with CADFEM, our mother company, help us uh, realize our, our, our company's goal. And then we decided in 2022 to rebrand. It was originally CADFEM Medical, but now we wanted to kind of separate ourselves, and we rebranded as SimQ. Today, I'm proud to say that we're going for a CE approval for one of our technologies, and we hope to have that um, later this year or early next. But as you can see, we're certified ISO, ICE, we follow verification and validation groups, and we, of course, are MDR compliant whenever it decides to come. <laughs> so the technology that allows us to do that is the, our simulation platform. With our platform, we're able to design different workflows to apply simulation within the needs of the company. So it's definitely, it's, it's one thing is it's user friendly. A lot of simulation software, you have to have biomechanical engineering experience to navigate. And I'm more of a user end, end user myself. So this application makes those complex simulations available to people like us, designers, um, physicians, eventually, depending on the workflow that we have. But it's um, flexible, adaptable, like I said. We, of course, we follow the regulatory framework. And we use our 3D rendering Diacom data to provide those patient solution services. And it's a, based, um, it's a cloud structure. We use Microsoft Azure. And lastly, some of the solutions I just want to highlight today. And if you want some inf inf more information, please make sure to visit us at the booth over there by registration. So our star. Um, workflows are our personalized medical devices, specifically for cranial and maxillofacial implants, and we're branching into the dental industry as well, because people don't realize dental implants are patient-specific. <laughs> um, we also have a platform, we use fluid dynamics for personalized diagnosis for treatments of um, OSA, obstructive sleep apnea, and also surgical planning tools. We have a strong research and development department, and right now we're doing some work with our arterial mapping, and simulation, we offer consultation services as well, as well um, for virtual patient cohorts with um, clinical trials and, and studies. One of the solutions we offer is SimQ rapid, a rapid palatal expansion. This we partner with KLS Martin, and this basically helps the surgeons map in an objective way the most appropriate way to cut when they're expanding the palate for symmetrical healing. The obstructive sleep apnea app that we have uses the fluid dynamics, like I said, to um, drive us the diagnosis for a personalized air, airway um, mapping. So 
What we do with the obstructive sleep apnea, it's very complex. Sometimes it's neurological, sometimes it's anatomical, but with this mapping, you can help the, the diagnosing physicians. Ha they have a better tool to see, is it anatomical? What kind of in intervention would best benefit the patient? And our STAR is the virtual implant testing software. With this software, you can apply load cases on the personalized implant to test how it's, the stress goes throughout the implant. And you can perform safety and performance assessment of those implants before they're ever sent for manufacturing. So your medical device designer can have several different versions. And then based on the simulation, they can send the best version of that already personalized implant to manufacturing, saving time, resources things like that. Also, we offer automated technical documentation because nobody likes paperwork, which is very important for post-market surveillance, quality management, kind of things like that, especially if you're going for um, more documentation for, to find a starting place for your clinical study as well. So thank you very much for your attention. It was a pleasure to speak with you today. And please, again, come see me at my booth. Thank you.